is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go, and today we're testing out the GoPro, along with finally finishing our Melton task. So it's been a quite busy and somewhat uneventful in the sense of weather kind of hindering stuff uh, past couple weeks, uh, and with that we have been slowly completing our Melton research. Uh, we left off on part four of nine where we had to catch five steel type, five electric type, and then earn five candies walking with our buddies. Well, we did that. It was very easily obtained, especially here at the house with uh, the weather right now, it producing those, uh, the rain, producing the electric spawns uh, in mass amounts. That was easily taken care of. Moved on to the next step, which was to evolve a Grimer, catch five Slugma or Gulpin, and then make 20 Great Throws. Once again, that was easily obtained. I literally did that within like four hours at the house. In that four hours of doing that, we caught a 100% Anorith, and we finally got our shiny Cubone. Its counterpart, Ponyta, we lost, but we got a Cubone. I do really like the green. I do. It's a very nice, very good green, but pfft, not the shiny I wanted. I wanted shiny Magmite. Still have no shiny Magmite or Ponyta for that matter. And then with that, we moved on to step six, which was evolve a Magnemite, catch five, execute, and battle in 10 raids, which we did over the weekend. So those videos will be slowly uploaded onto the channel individually as raid videos. Um, we took care of that, and on that same day, I got a shiny Eevee. All the shinies that I don't really care for or won, I mean, I'm not gonna complain, it's a shiny, even though I'm complaining right now, but, it's, it, it's a good shiny, it's not a bad shiny, it's, it's a pretty decent one, so that's cool. I'm excited, I was pretty excited, I was, I'm always excited when I find a shiny. Uh, so then we also moved on to step seven of nine, which was evolve one Drowsy, catch one Cubone, and evolve one Scyther. So we took care of that super easy, it was not hard to do at all. Then it moved on to the next step, which a lot of people did encounter having a problem with, uh, catching two Ammonite or Kabuto, catching Tula Leap or Anorith, and then catching the Aerodactyl. Now, if you were smart enough, you would have saved a Hatch to Egg quest, and that gives you an Aerodactyl. I think you have three of those lined up. So we're gonna take care of that, catch our Melton, get out in this last hour, and see if we can at least get one shiny Magnemite. Like, please. The boyfriend already got one, so I have to get one. So before we do that, we're gonna turn on a Lucky Egg. Claim our reward here. There's the Aerodactyl. Six, uh, 1162. No idea. And I've already checked all of my Aerodactyl quests. Ooh, that was a horrible throw. I already checked all of my Aerodactyl quests. None of them are shiny. This is gonna be one that uh, it's probably gonna take me a very long time to get that shiny, that's for sure. In the bag, taken care of, easy peasy. Catch one Aerodactyl. You are done with your quest. Bam, right there, claim our rewards. Oh, I should have turned on a star. I only have one star piece left though, so shouldn't have turned it on, it's a good thing. So, it says you have to do it uh, in AR mode, which is funny because you don't have to do it in AR mode. So, here's our little Melton. Oh, he's so cute. I don't have anything metal around me. I mean, my computer's pretty metal. My computer's like completely metal, basically. Metal and plastic. Whoa. But that, that doesn't matter. Uh, I have a friend that has a Switch, so we're gonna do that as well in another episode. So uh, we'll have some fun with Melton at another time. For now, we are just going to make sure that we catch this little guy. For sure, for sure, for sure. 438, I have no idea of his CP range and stuff, so. Ooh. That'll be a. So far of my mythicals, uh, it's not been that great. I had my uh, Mew and it was a 91 at beginning. I don't know what happened, but it changed and now it's an 87. So hopefully this is not Horrible. Yay! Finally, the little Nutto, Natito. Uh, what else, What were the other names? Nutface, Bolty, 
Not head, like there were so many silly names for it. And here we have Melton, 400 candies. 400 candies, strong. Well, thank God we can get more Melton. HP attack, ugh, man, that's a bummer. But hey, registration, I'm calling it a Tito. That's what I'm naming it. It's kind of hard to click on, it's so tiny. He's seriously hard to click on. There we go, okay. Anyways, yay! Melton in the decks. Let's look at that real quick. Go down to Sinnoh. An unknown. Why would it be an unknown Pokedex? We know what Pokedex it's coming to from, according to uh, many popular internet sources. I guess we don't know what it is coming from. But there you have it. There you have it. Oh, and we registered our uh, Chrysalia uh, the other day as well with our rate. So cool beans. Yes, uh, two new registrations. There's a Magnemite on the nearby, and he has one last thing to say to us. I was right, Ludo Clack. This artifact is truly Melton. We did it. Of course, the reason for Melton's presence inside this mysterious box can only be guessed. Maybe the people who glorified and worshipped Melmetal decided to keep it safe when the Pokemon somehow split itself apart. Doing so could have been thought of as the only way for the people to ever meet Melmetal again. That warms the heart a little, doesn't it, Ludo Clack? <laughs> Make sure you give Melton, plenty of chances to see the fast world we live in by venturing out and exploring. Who knows what will happen from here? I can assume. Updates. PvP. Maybe. Enjoy exploring, Ludoclack, and I'm sure we'll be back in touch soon. Ya better be. Bam. 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 That's a lot of Stardust today. And that will get completed once we reach level 40. We have 90,000 points until we reach uh, level 40. So that's gonna happen pretty soon. Probably gonna go live for that as well. So, man, that could also even happen over this weekend. I don't know, we'll see. Gonna be hit level 42 soon. Level 40 hype, super exciting. Shiny tech, check. Not a shiny. Shiny check to Ammonite. Not a shiny. All right, we officially have 15 minutes left. I'm gonna go walk through the neighborhoods and whatnot and see what we can find. And hopefully I'll come back with good news that we found a Magnemite. If not, I'll come back with uh, news of uh, closing the episode. <laughs> see you in two seconds. And like that, we're back home. Uh, we walked for about uh, 45 minutes, nothing. We did hatch some eggs, nothing. So once again, Another event where I don't get the event shiny that I want, but I'm not complaining, just stating facts. And with all the shiny possibilities that we're spawning with this event. Oh well, pretty sure something big's coming up soon. So, I don't really need to worry so much about the whole shiny situation. But, that just leaves more episodes for uh, Magnemite shiny hunts, because I really want it, and Ponyta shiny hunts. So, you know, when you don't get the shiny you want, it just makes for, for more content. But anyways, that's about it. Uh, the event is over. The spawns are completely back to normal. So uh, we registered and we finally got our Melton. Thank you, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee for your event. It was uh, pretty lovely. I got my shiny Eevee and a shiny Pikachu, which uh, seems very typical for the event. Uh, I got my shiny Cubone, so you know, pretty cool. But we got our Melton, and that's what's important. Now we just have to collect the 400 candies in order to evolve it, so that's gonna take a while. So until then, for now, we're gonna wrap it up here. So please scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not, and if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!